Welcome everybody. I just wanted to use this opportunity to follow on from the communications that have already been relayed to you at the beginning of the week. I'd like to take this opportunity on your behalf in showing our tremendous appreciation for the efforts of our staff and how they, alongside the support staff, have really embraced the remote learning delivery, ensuring the best possible and effective learning experience for your child. I also thank you for your positive responses to our provision and ensuring that your child accessed and fully utilised the provision in what is very challenging times for families. We're very, very excited to welcome our students back to school to resume face-to-face -face learning from the week beginning the 8th of March. Mrs Thompson, the Deputy Head Teacher for Pastoral and Pupil Progress, has early in the week communicated a very comprehensive and detailed and safe return to school plan for all students and staff. Following the latest government guidelines, we will be opening and operating a phased return during the first week beginning Monday the 8th of March to effectively and safely manage the number of students passing through the testing centre. Students whose parents have consented to them taking part in the testing programme will be asked to come for their first test and then return home. The times of the testing slots should have now been shared with you. After your test, your child will return home and a negative test means that they can come and return to personal face-to-face -face teaching the next day. For example, the Year 11 will come into school on their allotted slot on Monday the 8th of March, take the test and then return home. A negative test means that they can return to full-time schooling on Tuesday the 9th. Students on their testing day will be set tasks online, enabling them to complete their tasks whilst working around their testing slots. All students will be fully on site from Monday the 15th of March. And while students are still at home awaiting their testing day, teachers will be delivering on live lessons. The plan for testing into the second week and beyond requires a certain level of patience and flexibility as we address the enormous challenges of mass testing on this scale. But we do envisage one year group per day will be tested. So Monday year 11 test, Tuesday year 10, year 10 test, Wednesday year 7 test, Thursday year 8 test and Friday the year 9 test. To ensure the full health and safety of your children and staff, we've updated our risk assessment and are confident that the school site, school site is safe. Please remember that we have remained safely open during the lockdown for a significant number of students and staff. I did present the video last week, but those that may have missed it, please take time to view the video which outlines a superb and efficient testing facility that the AMAT has installed at Henley. In terms of home testing, following the completion of the three in-school COVID-19 tests, your child will be supplied with LFD test kits to self-swab and test themselves twice a week at home. We advise you further when we have further details from the government. We will support students in testing at school over the next couple of weeks, which will also guide them on the appropriate method of testing. I've also attached a link to a video which explains very clearly how easy the testing can be completed. Those under 11 might require some parental care assistance, but 11 plus should be able to do testing with support. Testing is voluntary, but pupils are strongly encouraged to take part to support the return to face-to-face -face education. Consent forms must be completed via the following link, which I will attach to this. And if you've not already done so, any changes to previously returned consent forms should be emailed directly to slewis at henleyschool.com. A significant number of the school population have already agreed to take part in the testing programme. The risk assessments have been updated, the health and safety for staff and students is very efficient, and I do believe that students do need to come back to school, obviously for their education,
but also, as importantly, for their physical and mental well-being. In terms of attendance, the government has made it explicitly clear that the attendance to the academy is mandatory from your child's designated phased return date. I think we all have recognised the importance of schooling, and not just for academic learning, but as importantly for physical and mental well-being. If students regularly attend school, we know that they will develop and flourish. Please help us to achieve that aim for your child. In terms of wearing of face coverings, it is necessary for all to wear masks, exceptions apply when socially distancing is difficult. At Henley School, this means that students and staff are expected to wear masks in classrooms, in corridors and in other communal spaces. We ask you to ensure your child attends school each day with a clean mask. These are now necessary in everyday life. Students that are exempt from wearing a face covering have been issued with an exemption card previously and should continue to use this. If your child cannot wear a mask for a medical reason, please ensure you let the school know as soon as possible. In terms of wearing the masks themselves, Masks should fit securely over the mouth and nose. Wearers should not touch the front of their face covering during use or when removing it. Reusable masks should be placed in a plastic bag that students can take home with them. If your child is using a reusable face covering, please ensure that they also have a resealable plastic bag with them to ensure safe storage. Hands should be washed or sanitised every time a mask is put on or removed. We have a limited number of masks to provide to those students who occasionally forget or the mask is damaged. However, we suggest that students come prepared with a couple of masks to cater for this potential scenario. Should students fail to wear their mask despite reminders, negative behaviour points will be given for failure to follow instructions. It may be necessary for staff to remove their mask during short periods of direct instruction to aid communication and learning. This will only occur when a minimum of two metres distance can be assured. Of course, we will continue to review our plans and adjust as necessary and as government guidance is amended. And as such, our plans are subject to change and we ask for your patience and support as we adapt during these difficult times. Travelling to school safely. As part of our ongoing communications, I'd wish you to share the following messages on how your child can travel to and from school safely. If you live a short distance from your school or college, you can walk, cycle or scoot to and from school whenever it's possible and safe to do so. Avoid sharing a car with anyone outside of your household or support bubble. And if you're using public transport to get to Henley, plan ahead and allow more time for your journey. And when you are travelling by public or dedicated school transport, don't forget to wear a face covering unless you're exempt. And it's important you wear them for the entirety of your journey, including inside a bus or train station. Socially distance where possible, wash or sanitise your hands regularly and be considerate to fellow passengers and staff. I think coming back to school we need to just reset our expectations. Apart from the key worker students who have been on our site and experienced a semi-normal return to school, we are aware that you as parents and your children have experienced a very different environment than one they would expect when they're in school. Therefore, we want your child to be not to be anxious regarding their return. In fact, I want them to be enthusiastic in returning to some sort of normality. They'll have specific lessons in their timetable, perfect uniform, and real face-to-face -face engaging and learning with their teachers. And also, as importantly, conversing and communicating with their friends and definitely not through a computer screen. To quell any anxiety, we've organised a very thorough return to school plan which sets out 
and reinforces our expectations for students and staff as we did in September. We know students may be concerned regarding their learning, but we know that the remote learning provided and accessed by the students at this school was very good and better than other schools. So we know that your child is in a relatively good place with firm plans that offer them all great support, focusing on the immediate three weeks up until Easter. In addition, we're also focusing on finding out where their learning is and identify where any gaps may be. Also, let's not worry as children all around the country will have gaps in their knowledge and skills. Finding out how everyone is feeling about returning to school. We have planned for all the students to fill in their questionnaire, identifying any concerns, which will enable us to add to our very extensive support programme. I know the teachers are so grateful and looking forward to meeting their classes and form groups face to face. Delivering on screen learning is not what they came into the profession for but the interaction and building relationships with their students is what is most important. I'm not saying that initially the next three weeks will not be a challenge for your children, but I do know that Henley School and all who work in here means that it's a special place and one where the very best support and learning will be provided for your child. Please reiterate and go over our high expectations around behaviour, uniform, equipment, and as importantly, kindness to others. There will be some challenges, but not too difficult, that we can't overcome them. There's three weeks to Easter, and this will give us enough time to build up those foundations and set the tone and structures to really jump ahead and have success in the summer term. Thanks for listening. And we will now revert to our usual bi-weekly parental newsletter as we return to some sort of normality. Thank you. Henley and Arden School. Achieving excellence together.